Well, hello, hello, hello. Um, this is, if it's true, um, then it's to be crazy because uh, there wasn't um, set to have a blood moon on uh, this day that a blood moon had happened. There was no um, n no warning of it, no eclipse, no nothing. Um, so pretty crazy like i said if it's true i'm not going to deny it um i see that uh this lady that i'm going to be sharing on her uh she is on a mission trip in israel so uh, it's pretty cool that she may have found something uh but i'm going to read it here it says that in 2 45 a.m this is a day ago in israel um, I awoke and looked out my balcony and saw a red moon. It's not supposed to be a blood moon, so I was wondering why is it red. I see the reflection on the water beneath the Sea of Galilee. She put, update. The moon is white this morning. The Lord says, I awaken you to see my warning. This is a sign for my people. Uh, the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call my, or, or shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be delivered as the Lord hath said and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. That is in Joel. So she had woken. This is the 14th. She had posted this. And there was not set to be a blood moon. Um, so, pretty cool that you see, we see the red reflection here. And of course, this is the moon. Uh, somebody over here said they took, about three weeks ago, they seen a random blood moon as well. Uh, we're not really set to have one in 2023 till April and October. Uh, these are the dates that they have set for it. So why did a blood moon just appear? Um, it, it, you know, I'm going to take it with a grain of salt. I'm not going to say that this is a lie. This is a fake picture. I don't see any reason why she should be lying about it. I see um, uh, all throughout her page, she's on a mission trip over here, traveling uh, all of Israel, um, taking really awesome pictures. I'm not friends with her. I had just seen that this had popped up. And so I typed in her name and I seen it all and I looked at the pictures and uh, th th there's nothing to gain from, uh, you know, saying anything about this. Uh, it's not normal for a blood moon to appear without an eclipse, but um, we know that no one knows the day or hour or the time. So we have scheduled and set. We know one's going to be in April and October. So why would it be uncommon for a blood moon to appear when it's not set time? Um, I'm going to believe because as the book of Acts and Joel says that the spirit of the Lord is pouring out on sons and daughters in these days, I'm going to believe this is true. I'm going to believe that this is a relatively true picture that she had um, seen this. I, 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 I've seen phenomenons in the sky when they say things aren't going to happen around those dates. I mean, God is in control of everything. So uh, the Sea of Galilee having a blood moon and being woken up at 2.45 a.m. to say this is a warning. I think we have a lot of warnings happening, a lot of signs happening um, that I really think it is time to take a lot of things serious. Um, not, you know, just sitting here and, oh, well, we don't have to really take this serious. We don't have to take this serious. Remember, it was just earlier this week we were talking about uh, some meteorites in France and uh, UK. And then last night, um, of course, uh, Texas had some huge um, meteorite with a loud explosion that had happened. And Christ said there'd be signs in the sky. Huge, mighty, uh, huge meteorite seen over South Texas. Terrified residents reported loud explosions and shaking of the homes. Um, this is, of course, another... Uh, a, a lot of people say, well, yeah, we, we get these a lot. We do get a lot of meteors uh, throughout time, but um, for ways that they've been happening and, um, you know, just in general, how they've been popping up in certain locations, causing a lot of um, weird booms in the sky that people can't explain. 
Um, I think this is a significant fine that this lady was woken up and had seen a blood moon and other people are saying that they seen their moon red um, and other past experience times this year. I believe 2023 has been a great shaking, a great acceleration of things happening at fast pace. And we're just seeing that we're only, what, 46 days into the year, and we have had um, probably the fastest pace starting of a year that I can ever say we've had. So with that being said, may God bless you all. Um, You know, don't be alarmed by things. Uh, You know, rejoice in hope patient tribulations, continuing instant in prayer, as Romans 12 says. Let's, uh, you know, rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, as 1 Thessalonians 5 says, uh, because God is worth it. And tonight we'll be talking about the first doom of Revelation, the great harlot, the mystery of Babylon. Uh, it's going to be a really uh, good study at 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, I wish to would have seen more individuals come in for the Sermon on the Mount, but, you know, the day and time we're in, uh, people would rather hear news people would rather hear chaos uh, than the word of God. So, you know, so be it. That's not uh, alarming to me. That is actually uh, kind of, um, it just fulfills the prophecy of the Bible that people just will have a itching of an ear and not really want to hear sound doctrine. So um, come in for it tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be uh, through Revelation 17, uh, the great whore or uh, the great harlot, however you want to call it. But um, this was an interesting find, the Sea of Galilee, a random blood moon, not scheduled to have a blood moon at that time. Uh, Is it a warning? I think God is warning the world, and I think he's been warning us for the past three years and more that it is really time to get our houses in order. I really think 2020 should have been a great awakening for people to realize that we need to be steadfast in the faith and we need to move forward. We need to get rid of religious uh, ceremonies and practices, and we need to focus on following Christ and having unity. So may God bless you all.